Nisuti rukuti timing oh yo kuingiriza ma ma ma, ma fees it's not it life ani ka kuingiriza kana kwa ipa oja kana kwa dini unzai mbunzo mbunzo thank the honorable member for asking a question of fees i listen um sdg number 4 talks about access to quality education why did the minister not answer? Okay. Why didn't he answer the question? Rather, and avoid it. Did you reconcile the earnings of the citizens of Zimbabwe vis-a-vis -vis the current fees increase that you have made at universities? Oh. Answer the question. If you are not going to answer it, we will persist to, on you to answer it. Mr. Speaker, sir, the Honorable Minister did not answer the question directed to him by Honorable Shnotimba. Honorable Shnotimba asked him a very simple question. Did you reconcile the earnings of the workers and parents in Zimbabwe vis-a-vis -vis the school, the university fees that you have reviewed upwards? He went on a ranting of quality education, but he knows that the role and duty of every government on government institutions. The universities that we are talking about are not private universities. We are talking about government universities. Okay. State universities are entitled to a subsidy from government. Why did the minister not answer? Okay. Why didn't he answer the question? Rather, and avoid it, did you reconcile the earnings of the citizens of Zimbabwe vis-a-vis -vis the current fees increase that you have made at universities? Oh. Answer the question. If you are not going to answer it, we will persist to, on you to answer it. Members, who is insulting the minister? Ah. That we you insulted. are dead. We I think insulted you. Well, we insulted the minister when he was presenting. I would request uh, Honorable Scala to withdraw the word dead. Education. Is it a new question? No, it's supplemental. Supplemental. Yes. All right. The school fees. All right. Poverty the line. Ayaka ya ya yaka tika yaka kira asima wages elan <coughs> lanela na waruke nda ku university ne 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 Maria waruku taura kuti weza hurumende cha basira kana cha pe we got more than kuma twenty thousand uh, ah wa wa na waruke nda ku university. Kuchichone mare kuti hurumende cha batsira vanai vava yetu we hurumende iri kutsaka chikafu chokupa vanhu kumamishawo hakutori na chikafu chacho yozotsaka mari yokupa ava saka isuti rukuti timing o yokuingiriza ma 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 fees it's not it Life ani ka kuingiriza kana kwa ipa oja kana kwa dini unzai mbunzo mbunzo wangu wokuti Makambo tarisa wele kuti mari zino hoa nelani nela shandi isutuwa mire wa shandi kuti zino fama se because pakiri pana kuti uzi mshanda ano hora eight hundred oenda ne manano anono padara five thousand it's unclear.
budget to support students who cannot afford their school fees at universities. Mr. Speaker said that, that, that statement, I do not call it a lie, but it's mistake. I graduated my first degree in 2000. We were obtaining loans and grants from government. That process, Mr. Speaker, has reduced whereby students were now going to be given 100% loan. The loans that were given to university students, Mr. Speaker, has continued until 2005. So for the minister to purport, as if he has made an invention for him, and mistake in the world, is unacceptable. To your set properly, don't mistake this house and also the and also the country. The laws and that facility has always been there. It is not his own invention. So the truth of the matter is that he must push the Minister of Finance to subsidize higher education in our country. The way how all of us have this house and to the Thank the honourable member for asking a question of fees. Are you listening? Um, SDG number four talks about access to quality education. I, of course, will talk on behalf of the higher and tertiary education sector. In the higher and tertiary education sector, we have been able to agree on the level of fees that are minimum to make the university sector be able to run in terms of access to quality education. So for humanities, we have put tuition fees as agreed through the processes at 3,500, and engineering and sciences at 4,000, and life sciences, which is veterinary science, as well as medical sciences at um, 5,000. And uh, this was, we came up with this to make sure that there is the, the minimum which is needed to make universities run is met. However, we also know that um, we have to increase access. So, what we have done is to introduce a government-backed loan scheme to improve access. But we also had uh, a private loan scheme which is offered by um, other banks. But at the, for the first time also for universities, we have been able to give them operational fees which they have never been given since 2009. So we started this year to make sure that the fees are actually affordable and make sure that everybody has access to quality education. I believe I have uh, maybe answered the question to a certain extent. That we have to have access to quality education. I also want to talk about whether we increased or we just determined fees. Your honorable speaker say, our last ordinance of 2019 was in United States dollars. This is the first time since 2009 that we are putting, or since 2009 basically, that we are putting ordinances of fees in Zimbabwe dollars. So it basically then means that we can talk about levels of fees, not increases. Because if we talk about increases, we are assuming that we increased it from the United States dollar part. But we didn't. We just determined the fundamentals and what we need in terms of quality education. Mr. Speaker said, it is easy, it is easy for us to go and amass in classes that don't have chemicals, that don't, because we are talking about quality education, that don't have chemicals, that don't have equipment, that don't have that, that's a populistic approach that can only destroy this country. We are in the process of starting an education system 
that leads to the production of goods and services, what we call Education 5.0. And the Ministry of Finance and Economic Development through this parliament already voted a lot to the Ministry of Higher and Tertiary Education. This is why the fees that we are talking about is actually reasonable. I want to thank the honorable members for having supported the ministry in such a way, if we were not supported, we were not actually going to have fees that, at that level at all. We know, honorable speaker, that education has to be of quality. Otherwise, there is no need to go to class.